what if we did something that talked about pizza culture in the format of a small museum? Surely somebody else has done this. Surely there's a pizza museum in Italy somewhere. Surely there's a pizza museum in New York or Chicago of all places. And there wasn't. And as we were going through the process in 2011 of collecting stuff, we also wondered if there was a Guinness World Record out there. Sure enough, there was neither another pizza museum and there wasn't a Guinness World Record that we could find. And the New York Times wrote an article about us and they took a long time to write that article because they did their due diligence to see whether or not there was another pizza museum. There was nothing, so we were like, this is kind of unique. We wanted to talk about why pizza was so big to all of us. Why do we love pizza so much? What is it about pizza that draws us? And with each item that we collected, there was a story, whether it was a toy or a book or a movie, we were just amazed at how many things are out there that are pizza themed. And that's what the record is for. It's for the world's largest collection of pizza related items. Some people call it memorabilia, some people call it junk. One man's junk is another man's treasure, obviously, but this isn't a history museum. But we did want to tell the story of how pizza became popular and how it became this big thing, especially to Americans. And so that's what is all around us through all of the objects that celebrate pizza or are about pizza. We have 70 years of records, for example. People were making music about pizza long before pizza even really became a household word in the U.S. Same with cartoons and comic books and movies and TV shows. And some of these records are really, really cool. Some of the circular ones and the prints with pizzas on them or patterns that have the word pizza written out all around them. And it's really awesome to go back and to see the album art and to see all of the effort that went into not only the band, but also to convey that this band is all about pizza. I also love how pizza is a brand that is used to promote other brands. There's a Porsche ad up there, and that's one of my favorite examples of that. It's a $100,000 car that's being sold to you through pizza. <laughs> you know, like that's. That's kind of amazing to me. Hands down, personal favorite, there are three puzzles that are from the 60s, and it was right when pizza was becoming popular, and they are puzzles about like uh, sort of Mother Goose nursery rhymes, but they're in a circle, and they are, have a pie crust around them, and they're called pizza puzzles. People, obviously like anything Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, we do have a giant, Michelangelo framed picture <laughs> and people sort of gather around it like they pay homage to the turtles. I think that what's really unique about it is that it took Philly to tell this story and it wasn't told in New York, it wasn't told in Chicago, it was kind of overlooked and to me it's a really interesting part of our vibe that doesn't really exist in other parts of the country. The creativity, the willingness to do something new and to make it top notch and exciting. Yeah, that, that's Philly. That's Philly. Hi, I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.